Right, hello everyone, welcome back to another My Team episode. Today we are here for the Russian Grand Prix for round 13. Oh boy, this is going to be a good one. I, um, I personally, for one, do not like this track um, that much. But uh, with the episode ahead, I, I think it was pretty nice. Um, anyway, we I literally just skipped right into it. We don't need any intro for this one. Let's just get straight into it. We need to again waste no time. So let's just let's just go. You know, let's not waste any time. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome, one and all, to today's Grand Prix here in southern Russia. A beautiful location besides the Black Sea, and a race that has historically been dominated by the Silver Arrows. Mercedes have won here six times since the first race in 2014. Can someone else muscle in on that record here today? It's full throttle for around 56% of the lap here at the Sochi Autodrome, a 3.6 mile run around the site of the 2014 Winter Olympics. 12 right turns and six left turns give us a total count of 18, with passing opportunities available into turns 1 and 13. And it's an absolute pleasure to be joined once again by Anthony Davidson. Why don't we discuss McLaren? What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fence starts from pole position. Edging out Lando Norris, who'll start from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Hamilton, Perez, Carlos Sainz, and Leclerc, Ocon, Vettel, Stroll, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Verstappen, Raikkonen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Russell, Mr. Monaco, Gasly, Fernando Alonso, and Nicholas Latifi. Mazepin, Sonoda, they've taken a grid penalty. Mick Schumacher and Robert Schwartzman. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. All right, and there we go. Let's there you have it. Race. Let's I'm sorry that this episode seems a bit going. rushed, but I just thought, you know, no intro needed. Let's just, you know, get straight to the point. You know, the 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 intro there was there was no point in showing you all that crap. I just thought, right, let's get into it and here we are anyway on the grid. Um but yeah, let's again let's get right into this one. Five red lights. And away we go for the Russian Grand Prix as it's actually a terrible, terrible getaway, if I'm gonna be honest with you. You've already been swamped by uh, by Gasly. And you've already got um Alonso on our inside, and then yeah, he's also passed. We also decided to opt for the start on the mediums. Um, but down to turn two we go. I was gonna say turn one, but no, nope, that's incorrect. Uh, we actually we actually get two through turn one a okay. Uh, we didn't lose any more positions, but we haven't gained any. But here we go down the inside there of Alonso again to gain back that position. He's on the soft, so this might be uh, a good move to try and attempt to keep him behind in further, in further parts of the race. Um, obviously the launch wasn't great off the start anyway because, well again, we opted to start on the mediums, which I feel like throughout this race was a better start, or was a better um, choice to start on. Um, and uh, it was an entire dry race, Jeff, uh, Jeff had already sorted that out at the start. So um, yeah, sure luck, we'll, we'll see what goes on anyway. We're, uh, we're actually gaining quite a bit on Russell here down down this straight. Obviously, DRS not yet enabled. There's another lap one. We're alongside. We do go for a little bit of a move here. And it is a successful move. And that is already back up into P15. We started from P13. So, I'll see what we can do. Anyway, skip forward to the end of... Or, sorry, the, the middle of lap two. Where we're up the back of Kimi Raikkonen. Uh, again, we have to wait another, just one more lap till, um, till the DRS gets enabled. But we've actually gotten a really, really good run here at Kimi. He doesn't seem to be using any of his battery. We're alongside now on the outside. Can we go for the move? A little bit later on the brakes on Raikkonen, and that is a beautiful move there. Around the outside to take P14, and we're back up into the position we started in. 
So now all we got to do is uh, pull ahead of the guys behind and try stay with the guys ahead. As we, oh, a bit of oversteer there, that's not going to help. Um, luckily that's a corner stupid to go for a move for, if I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like it's a bit of a... Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it's just not a, not a not a good corner to go for. Anyway, we continue on uh, to lap 10 as absolutely nothing happened for that. The only thing that did happen is we got attacked by Fernando Alonso a few times. He was successful in zero occasions. Uh, we were just too good on the brakes, too good in defending. He was just too far back every time on the straight. He got, he potentially got me once. He did get me, get ahead of me once, but I came back at him then into turn uh, four. So, um, or turn five, should I say? Um, so it was okay. Anyway, we're at the back of Gasly and Giovinazzi. We finally now get ourselves a bit of DRS. As um, just saying on the battle with Alonso, we are constantly falling behind on Gasly and Giovinazzi, but we are close now. As Gasly's close as DRS really quickly there, and we're allowed to get that little bit more speed advantage going into the corner. So that has allowed us to get alongside and pa successfully pass Pierre Gasly, and that is up now into P12. We've made some good progress here so far. Um, only two positions now away from the points. I think our pit stop is, a, is, a, is around maybe lap 17, something like that. Um... So we'll see what we can do now against Giovinazzi here. I think we might be just too far back. Giovinazzi does not get DRS. I don't think. Oh no, did he? I can't really tell from here. Um, I think he might have, just judging by the times. So I think he did get it. Anyway, we skip ahead to lap 11. Where this time he does not get DRS. And uh, we should be able to breeze past without any, uh, any use of the ERS. So there we go, alongside, we do use a little bit just to make sure he slots in behind. We're past before the corner, and there you have it. That is P11 now for the time being, on lap 11, as we have Lance Stroll next, but um, we're somehow gaining on the Aston Martin. I have no idea why, but, oh, as we just say that, there goes, uh, in goes the Canadian for his first pit stop, as we skip now to lap 13 as well. Um, as we're currently sat in P2 because everyone else around us has pit and we haven't as we get a massive moment there massive massive moment I don't know what was going on there I think I just took it too much on the inside but that was not not an ideal thing for the tires and it's probably telling me now this is the this is the um, time where the tires start to go off which it is, is actually I was wrong it's not lap 17 it's lap 14 we decide to pit Valci Bottas sets the fastest lap so we're in on lap 14 technically 15. Leclerc also went in, but he goes to the hard tyres. So this could be something good for us because we will be going on to the soft, so we'll have the pace advantage over everyone on track. Um, hopefully the softs... Uh, the softs will definitely go to the end. There's actually yellow flags. Who's that? That's... One of the Williams is... It's, yeah, it's, it's Latifi. Latifi's going slowly with an engine failure there by the looks of things. I don't know... Yeah, it is a TV, yeah. I really hope it's not a safety car, but I think a safety car would have been called by now. So I think we are safe. I don't... I, yeah, I didn't want a safety car, if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I don't know why. I think I just prefer to work for the positions rather than just easily hand them out to the safety car restart. But uh, we'll still work for them anyway, as we have them here. As this is now for P11, as we haven't been inside the points properly at all yet. So Alonso is our first step to that, uh, which he'll be in P. He is in P11, and we'll be in P11 when we pass him. Hopefully, we can do it here. We are just that little bit too far back. We still attempt to go for it, but we just we're just too far back. So obviously, we don't want to go go for that move. One, it's too dangerous, and two, the AI probably would have turned it on us. Um. But, I mean, yeah, no, they, they turn on us because you go for a stupid move, so that, that, that's how that works. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because we're going to see what we can do, because we're quite, quite closer um, this time around as we start lap 16. Um, yeah, we're really close to Alonso now. We obviously got the better exit with the quicker tyre. Uh, we switch to the outside. Is he going to give it up? We're really late on the brakes, as he's kind of still there, but we do not touch, thank God. 
We do manage to get away with that one. Just about. And next up is Ocon, who's in P10. As we're actually close enough to go for a move. We are going to go for a move here. Down the inside we go. There at turn 5. And that is a beautiful overtake there. Perfectly, perfectly set up. Into P10 we go. We're inside the points. And look at that. We've even set up fast uh, first sector. As we've even gone fastest in the middle sector here, as we see now. And can we get the fastest okay, lap? Yes, we can. Ahead, purple, purple, green. Now let's see if we can hopefully uh, take this to the end and see if we can get Ricardo here while we're at it. Because we are currently on a roll. Here we go, Ricardo. He defends on the inside. We're on the outside. We go around the outside as we've absolutely outbroke ourselves. Outbreaked ourselves. Sorry, there. And we've unfortunately cut the corner. We didn't get a warning or anything for it. I just outbroke myself and I was forced to cut the corner there. But I had overtaken him before that, so it was legal. But illegal at the same time. But we're gonna ignore that. We overtook him, but I had nowhere to go, so I just had to slightly cut it. Because I, again, I had outbroke myself. I outbreak myself. I keep saying that. I don't know why. Anyway, here we go. On Sebastian Vettel now. This is for P7. We go round the outside, just about giving him enough of a squeeze. Just leaving him enough space on the inside, Good. just about a car's Good width. Nice which um, is the legal um, amount. So we did nothing wrong there. We gave him as much of a squeeze as we could. Um, so that is, yeah, that's P7. Still with the fastest lap, which I'm surprised about. As we're now, obviously, we skipped to lap 23. Is here we go. We go. We're gonna go for the move down the inside of Carl Sainz. We are gonna go for it. We saw the gap, and we finished it between us and the Ferrari pretty, pretty quickly. Um, as that is up into P P6 again. Still with the fastest lap. We tried to chase down Leclerc, and I thought I could do it. We did close in the gap enough, but the soft tires on the final two laps just weren't quick enough and that's when the hards were just good enough for it as Valtteri Bottas wins the Russian Grand Prix seconds. traditions traditions um but uh yeah P6 I'm not gonna complain about that I think I just decided to bring home the car rather than take a risk so I decided to slow down so obviously that's why Leclerc pulls ahead quite a bit and signs gains but obviously you see all the faster cars have now crossed the line so that means we are gonna come home with the fastest lap this is absolutely gold. gold. We come around the final corner for an absolutely beautiful result for P6. Absolutely excellent stuff. Again, P6 in the fastest lap. No problem at all. Oh, and driver of the day. <laughs> Get in. The Mercedes team pulled out a fantastic performance today. They should be proud. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? I think a large part of the result comes down to temperament. They were able to keep their heads when everyone around them was losing theirs. And that's allowed them to get the best out of the car, to maximise the strategy, and to stay out of trouble. After an excellent performance at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. So then, it's time to and see there you have it, folks. The, the Russian Grand Prix. Bottas takes the top Honestly, He's our new I, I have absolutely no complaints about that race whatsoever. Today, we did everything right. The strategy was perfect. The race was just perfect. But yeah, apart from that, guys. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, the Mighty series so far. Um, if you have, just click like, subscribe. That's all you need to do. If you don't want to, it's fine with me. But uh, yeah, we are close to, as I said, we're, we're close to 3k. Uh, let's go for it. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you guys in the next one. Goodbye.